What's going on guys? Adam again, back with Atomic Garage, and you're sitting inside of an engine. Let me tell you what's going on. So guys, as you can see, intakes right here, not in the correct spot, uh, upper part of the intake anyway. And I've been plugging away on the BMW ever so slightly uh, for a few things. First off is because I burnt up the starter. That's the very first thing I have to replace that. And before I get flamed for not replacing it from the bottom, I still need it to, number two, go ahead and replace the cam and crank position sensors. All of that connects to this spider system of wires that's quite a mess, but it's under the intake. So I said, well, I might as well go ahead and pull the intake and clean everything up and show you exactly what we've got going on. So this is the lower part of the intake. This is it right there. It's pretty nasty on the inside. I haven't cleaned it up. I haven't messed with it. I haven't done anything like that. So that's going to need some work. But, you know, while I was doing all of this, pulling all of these wires out and the uh, starter and the intake and everything that I'll show you in a minute, it got me thinking. Now is a good time to go ahead and do the supercharger. And let me explain why. So as you can see, guys, this is the engine bay. I got my tools literally everywhere. Uh, idle air control valve right here with all its stuff. Lower part of the intake, upper part of the intake with the throttle body and everything. And here is the spider box of connectors and wires that everything connects into. And quite honestly, I should be an engineer because this is the worst set of wires and stuff that I have seen in a car. It doesn't make sense. So what I want to do is extend these wires out uh, for a reason. Extend them out because I think this is ugly. I think it would clean up the engine bay and everything would look a whole lot better. But also, if you look a little bit further down, you can see these knock sensors. You got one right here that's got a little crack in it. And then you have another one that's right down there that also is cracked up pretty bad. So I need to replace these knock sensors as well. Now you see how much accessibility I have to everything now. I want to get rid of quite a few things. I want to get rid of this secondary air injection while I go ahead and replace the starter. I want to replace the cam, the cam and the crank position sensor that's further down. And then I'm gonna have to figure out a way to go ahead and either modify this intake, which is really just cutting it off there and building from the actual flange itself or building a completely new intake manifold to set the supercharger on. That's gonna get fun and that's gonna get interesting. And when I put a supercharger in this general area, I won't be able to keep this box of wires and stuff. So I'm gonna to have to take this apart, open it up, extend all the wires out, and hopefully we can make something happen. Now I know what you're saying. What you're saying is, you know, Adam, you don't even have the vehicle running yet, but yet you want to modify it. That doesn't make sense. Well, that is very true, but I also feel confident in the diagnostics that I have done because I have gone through every possible outcome that I could possibly come down to, and I've gotten them down to one of the two of those, and I just was too lazy to go ahead and test those, and I can probably test the connector now and see what kind of resistance I get to see which one is bad. But going this far down into the engine bay and finding a lot of stuff that's old cracked up defective things like that i want to just go ahead and replace both of them and just be done with that completely once i do that we can move on completely from there uh hopefully some new injectors get rid of that secondary air injection and just clean up this entire engine bay so it's not a spaghetti octopus of wires and stuff everywhere not to mention that we're going to also replace this coolant cross tube, which is known for going bad and breaking and spewing cute coolant everywhere. I'm going to avoid that by fixing it before I even get there. So I've got some work set out for me and I'm going to hit everything step by step and we will try and get this thing up and running with a supercharger. Big task, but... I think we got it. If you guys have any suggestions, any questions, any opinions, any anything at all, drop it below in the comment section. I thank you guys for sticking around and we're going to try and get back on some kind of a schedule to uploading videos if it's nothing but just an update video as it were. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.